in order to find the components that we are missing, I actually went ahead to the GitHub repo for Beautify and searched for the components. So V subheader seems like it's under components as V subheader. And same thing for avatar. So let's give it a shot there. We'll go to the main JS file and import V subheader as well as V avatar. Okay. So these should be loading fine this time. Awesome. Errors are gone. All right, let's continue. What we will do is complete the remote so that it looks more like the example I showed you before. And for that, we'll fill in here. What we have is an icon. And in here, let's start by implementing just one. We'll make it dynamic in the future, but let's just use this report problem icon for now, since we're not even connecting anything. And on the content, let's make some room in here. We will add a title and a subtitle. And here we will have the alias and this space will be used for our URI. All right. Then there's another section we will add, which is the V list tile action. Let's start by implementing only the menu. And we want a button here, which will have the three dots in there, so we can activate the menu and this is going to be margin left the second spacing measurement um, that is given by default on beautify So we got that now in here, and it says we need to bring in the V menu as well. So let's do that. And we'll get rid of that error. Continue with another V list inside of this menu. which remember we have the list tiles we're gonna have a title here and we want basically the same thing but we also want to be able to remove the remote so it opens up the menu now for our remotes we also want the ability to switch on and off the monitoring for each particular one and to accomplish that we will implement a switch here so let's get that for a little moment layout and in here we want a V switch 
and it will probably ask us to import that as well. Okay. Yep, it did. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. It most likely is called vSwitch. Awesome. Won't work because we don't have a V model attached to it at the moment. So let's go ahead and make these remotes load dynamic data here. So to do that, we will actually be getting all the data that we need into the props for this component. And let's define only one property which is going to be called remote and we'll fill in some details here okay so let's go ahead now and make those properties appear up here mm -hmm. and then what we want to do is let's keep a list of remotes in here so what we'll do for now is create a data function which will return an object with all the keys that we need. In this case we'll have our list of remotes. Okay, and remember we have a certain structure and we will for now only care about the alias and a URI. Let's say something like that. Let's create a couple of these. And we will be Well, let's also throw in an ID here. Um, cool. Um, so you'll see that we are actually looping through the list, but we're, we're not passing in any remote to the actual component. So the remote will be this key. And to make it a little bit clearer, let's call it remote item. And then you'll see that we have our remotes. Awesome.